Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First, I want to say thank you all so much for your support on this channel. I really do appreciate you. Y'all stick around to the end. I'm going to tell you about the contest that I'm run running right now. You can win part of $1,000. We'll have 10 people to win $100 each. Stick around to the end for details on that. Nancy Pelosi said all their energy is now focused on the stimulus package. She said they are committed to the $1,400 stimulus check. And we'll be able to get this done by March 14th. By March 14th? Come on, man. Why March 14th? You have the support that you need. You have the votes that you need to get this pushed through as a reconciliation act. So why not just get it done? Why wait until March the 14th? Push the damn bill through now. The American people was promised right after the election. It's not happening. Or have you noticed? Before Joe Biden took office, he promised that it would happen immediately after he took office. So far, that has not happened. And he took office a while back. Pelosi was also asked about tax reform. Will we be getting tax reform? She lashed out at the person that asked the question, and then she moved on without answering it. Joe Biden said, Some people are wanting to do nothing at all. But if he's going to act, he's going to act fast and act big. If he's going to act, that's what he said, if I'm going to act. Bad choice of words, Mr. Biden. It shouldn't be if you're going to act. It should be, I am going to act. But, of course, so far we have not seen that. Joe Biden also said if he has to choose between compromising or helping the American people, it will always be helping the American people. Then if that's the case, why is he listening to all of these different proposals? Just get it done. Vice President Harris used her tie-breaking vote yesterday for the first time to deliver a 51-50 vote on whether or not to proceed with developing a stimulus package. What happened to Vice President Biden, I mean, Vice President Harris using her tie-breaking vote to push the Recon Act through. Johnson & Johnson has submitted their one-and-done vaccine to the FDA for emergency distribution approval. This vaccine only takes one dose. This makes it much so much more sense because you see what trouble they're having getting just one shot into the arms of the American people. Can you imagine getting two shots into the arms of each American person? This one and done approach makes a lot more sense to me. The effective rate is not as good, but it's something. It will slow the vaccine down and then we can get a grasp on it. Johnson & Johnson says that they can ship this vaccine immediately. The Senate had a voterama. They brought up and voted on 849 amendments. In other words, 15 hours of wasted time. 
when they could have been working on a stimulus package and actually getting help out the door to the American people. But of course, they're not going to do that. On Donald Trump, his attorneys have said that Donald Trump will not testify at his own impeachment trial. Y'all, I'm not bashing on Donald Trump here right now, but it may sound that way to some people that adores him. I think this is a good thing because you know every time Donald Trump opens his mouth, he gets himself in trouble. All he does is point fingers and blame everyone else. And it just makes him look bad. So I think the fact that he will not be testifying at his own trial might just help him. The Democrats are still not sure about Joe Manson, and I'm not either. They're wondering, will he change his mind again and block everything? Y'all, we have to watch this man very closely. I think he is the Democrats' version of the Republicans' mooch man. He is not to be trusted. You know, one day he says... Stimulus checks is a waste of money. He says stimulus packages is a waste of time. And he votes for sending billions and billions of dollars to other countries, but not helping the American people. Well, just in a matter of a few days, he changed his mind on, would he support the, pack, the stimulus package or not? And now he says he will. Come on now. Joe Biden is holding firm to his $1.9 trillion package. He says he will not change the dollar amount, but he is open to how it is allocated. My only question is here now is, where is it at? If he's not open to changing anything, if he's not open to other stimulus packages, why hadn't this been pushed through yet? The Republicans are only wanting to spend $600 billion for a stimulus package. Joe Biden and the Democrats are not even considering this. Then what's the holdup if they're not considering it? Go ahead and push their package through. Because it's clear and obvious we're not going to get bipartisan support. So push the Reconciliation Act through. Y'all, the bottom line on this whole stimulus fight is as lo longer they fight over the stimulus package back and forth, the longer it will be before the American people gets any help at all. Whether or not they use President Biden's bill, which is a very good bill, and I hope they use it, or whether they use the teeny tiny, teeny weeny tiny bill from the Republicans, which I hope they don't. I mean, whether whichever bill they use, have you noticed with all of this fighting back and forth, how much money they've spent so far on this bill to help the American people? Nothing. They have not spent anything to help us yet. Or is this simply the plan that the Democrats and the Republicans and the President have concocted not to help the American people and not to spend any money at all? By the way, this is our money. We just need a little bit of it back. They act like it's coming out of their pockets. Well, I guess in some way it is coming out of their pockets. You remember the mooch man's wife, how she stole money from the PPP for her family business? Well, the more that they send to us to help us, the less they will have to steal from us. So I guess in a way it is coming out of their pockets. Y'all, please comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this mess. And don't hold back. Let me know your feelings on all of it. 
you're not going to hurt my feelings. I would ask you not to use profanity. It is against the terms of policy on YouTube. But please, don't hold back. Let me know how you feel. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders. Say a prayer for everyone that's hurting around the world through COVID or any other reasons. We need to pray for a healing for the whole world. One country cannot be healed without the whole world coming up too. Y'all please watch the video that's popping up here now. Oh yeah, and I was going to tell you about the uh, contest. Every Sunday I'm going to have an update video about the contest. I'm giving away $1,000. It's going to be broken down into 10 $100 prizes for 10 lucky people. This will be the week of February the 28th. If we reach a thousand subscribers by February the 28th, I mean a hundred thousand subscribers, I'm sorry, by February the 28th, we will be giving away $1,000. But if we don't win, I mean, if we don't grow to 100,000 subscribers, the only thing that's going to happen is I'm going to extend the date and we will still do the prize when we get to a hundred thousand but I think we can get to it by February the 28th I'm hoping so why are we doing this it's simple I want a hundred thousand subscribers and I want to help ten lucky people I think we can get it both done but if you don't win this time if we don't reach that we're going to just extend it and if you don't win don't unsubscribe because you have to be subscribed to win and we're going to just go right into another contest another thousand dollar contest after that so y'all please subscribe or else you will not have a chance to win only subscribers can win this prize so subscribe and stay subscribed i love you all ciao